were you of your team to kind of gather themselves and, and make that late run? And, and what did you say to them maybe to, to help them make that run? You know, we just talked in the huddle. It's a game of runs. Uh, we lost our focus uh, for a little bit defensively. We talked about let's tighten up defensively, uh, take care of the ball um, and drive the ball to the paint and get open looks, which we did uh, down the stretch. Go ahead again, Lee Kay, if you have another. Sure. Um, Ryan obviously had a had a good game against Tennessee the other day, but she scored just eight points. Um, did you make a concerted effort, or did she make a concerted effort to come out and be more of a scorer in this game, or did that just naturally happen? I mean, it just naturally happened. Uh, she had some great looks against Tennessee. The ball just didn't go in, um, and that happens sometimes. So, um, you know, she affected the game all around with her defense and her rebounds. Um, tonight, you know, she did a great job of um, coming off the screen, getting open threes, but getting to the basket and finishing through contact. Tim Watcher. Coach, uh, Jasmine made another big impression tonight, you know, at the point guard, 10 assists, nine points. Just talk about what she's doing to make your offense go. I mean, she understands our offense. She has great size, athleticism, but her basketball IQ is extremely high. Um, but I like that she's playing aggressive offensively. You know, she went downhill in a couple of our sets, uh, scored layups. She's an unbelievable passer. She has great court vision, and she knows how to set her teammates up to score in scoring position. Questions for Kai Ralsey? I'll ask one more. I, I, I thought Kiki was good tonight. Uh, she gave you a spark offensively and did some good things, a couple of hustle plays. Just talk about what she contributed tonight. Uh, Kiki was our hustle player of the game um, in our locker room today. I thought she really stepped up and set the tone defensively. It was contagious, her heart, her, her hustle plays, uh, getting on the floor. But I like that she remained uh, composed offensively. Um, down the stretch, when we needed big buckets, she stepped up with confidence and knocked them down. Go ahead, Lee Kay. I'll ask one more that's it's kind of a big picture question, not necessarily for tonight, but here in your first year as the head coach, as your team is building toward March, uh, how do you think that they are, where do you think they are at this point with that SEC tournament quickly approaching? You know, we're always a work in progress, um, but we've, we've gotten better from the beginning of the year until now. Um, you know, what I love about this team, we play together, we play team basketball. Uh, I love that we can push uh, and transition offense. Um, and then um, as you go into the SEC tournament, you know, it's going to be a grinded out. You have to be able to get stops um, and you have to have multiple players uh, step up and using our bench is going to be key. Um, but I like where we are now. We'll continue uh, to get better going down the stretch. John. Kyra, it was unfortunate that Lavender Briggs uh, is out for the season. When did you first hear about that and how difficult it is for you to, to adjust when you hear news like that? You know, uh, I feel bad for her. She's had an unbelievable uh, year. Briggs is uh, one of the best uh, scorers in this conference as well as players. So you hate for any player uh, to have to go out. Um, I learned it right before the game. Um, but, you know, this is part of the journey for every coach. You have to adjust um, and adapt on the fly. One more for you, John, and then we'll close it out. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, um, how has this team responded on the road? I know it's not a typical road environment, but still with travel and everything else that's involved, how do you think your team has done? You know, I think this team has been resilient all year. Um, you know, these are tough circumstances uh, with COVID and how we travel. And right now we're dealing with the weather, but um, we talk about mental toughness and resiliency. Um, and, and they have had that all year. So um, this is a fun team to coach. Um, you know, we are learning a lot about ourselves um, along the way, but we have a lot of talent. Um, but like, I'll go back. I love that they play hard. Uh, for each other and this program, and we keep our goals in mind. Thanks so much, Car Elsie. Thanks so much, everyone. We'll have a player up next, I'm sure.